Hello there. This is Hootie from HootieTuts.com. Uh, this is uh, one of our animation lessons. I'm going to show show you some things. Huh? Uh, we teach animations. You can join our KNT classes at HootieTuts.com. Uh, you can see some uh, join our classes buttons to join up. What we're going to be working with today is this boxer image and I'm going to be showing you some things to do with it. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to animate things and this is a this is a wonderful example to show different animations. Before we get started we have to kind of get ready to do our animations and one thing is adding a little room around the sides uh, so as we like move the arms up and down it won't go off the transparent set, uh, area. We'll still be able to see it. Uh, that'd be one thing. So I'm going to go to image canvas size and let's see I only want about 20 extra on top and uh, let's see let's take I think that'd be all right. I uh, got this on there we go that'll give us some room to the sides and a little bit overhead and need to add a frame around the outer edges if we don't uh, have sometimes I put dots in the corners but if we don't have like a frame around it which we can crop out later uh, when we move to animation shop it will try to center all the images and it will mess up our animations that we make because it will be jumping around depending on how we've uh, manipulated the image frame to frame or layer to layer while, while we're in PSP. So, let's see, select all. I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Uh, Control A, select all. And selections, modify, contract. Contract by three here. And then selections invert, which uh, I do that normally by the keyboard too. And F for flood fill tool and we'll going to fill it with black and control D to, to uh, instead of selection select none and now we have a little safety square around it and we're able to start our animations let's see I'll rename this uh, original because that's what we're starting off with and uh, See, I have a duplicate layer shortcut put on my toolbar while I'm at it. And the way you get that is uh, you can right click on one of your toolbars and let's see, customize. Go to your layers and you'll see duplicate layer. Right, duplicate right there. And you can drag that right to your layers palette, which I've already done. And uh, if you want to keep that handy little tool, why then you need to uh, go to File, Workspace, Save, and save your workspace. So it'll, it will hopefully stay on your layers palette. I'm going to uh, mash that shortcut to duplicate the layer. And let's see, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, no, actually, I can leave that on for this. Okay. What we're going to use is the warp brush, and let's see, we've got expand here. On this other layer, we're going to make his eyes a little bit bigger. I know they already look pretty big, don't they? I like to work in on things that are zoomed in, and you can do that if you got a wheel on your mouse. Uh, Let's see, moving it forward will make it larger. Or on your keyboard, you got plus sign on the right hand side in your uh, numeric pad. And you can tap on the plus or to make it bigger or minus to make it smaller. Uh, doesn't change the size of the graphic, it changes the view of the graphic actually. So uh, I like to get in there. Let's see, I need to change the size of my brush here. We'll go about 30. I think that's about right. I'm going to left click and hold it just long enough to get his eye a little bigger here. 
and I'm going to do the same here. And let's see. Let's make his mouth uh, bigger. Make his mouth bigger too. We'll change it to like 55 on the size. Ooh, and try to center right in on his mouth there. That makes it a little bit bigger. And let's see, let's duplicate this one time. And let's use the push brush. Need to be able to get in there pretty good. Let's see, let me try like 20. Gonna try to avoid his uh, his teeth and his, uh, the outer sides of his mouth and grab a hold of that tongue and we'll try to move it down some there it goes Let's see it come down uh, and that's a pretty good start let's duplicate that and we'll move it down even further let's see it let me change the hardness here change it to about 70 and it should move the tongue even better for what we're doing here I get a whole set the side here move it down and see how I'm moving it side to side uh, I didn't like the way it moved his uh, uh, teeth down here so that's just me I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller here size 8 and I'm going to try to push towards his tongue a little bit try to hide those teeth Let's see if that works it won't be as noticeable move the tongue over the teeth a little bit here there we go that looks a little better and uh, let's see let's go down here uh, let's see the original size here actual size there it is that's pretty good uh, if you wanted to see that in animation shot uh, be, oh need to save this that's something that you need to do is save it so let's go file save as and we're saving as a PSP image you can see that right there and going to name it boxer PSP image with the options PSP 5 compatible so it will work in animation shot and I'm going to save that which is always a good idea to save your work as you're doing it you never know when lightning's going to strike your computer or line or whatever and let's go to animation shop and open it up let's see file open Trash. Let's see where's the boxer at. Come on, boxer. There it is. And we'll select all here. Select all frames. Control A. Right click on that blue header there. Uh, frame properties. We'll change it to like 30. Or we'll try to change it to 30. I guess a type will weird there and make all the frame timings at 30 let's see there D and let's see view animation let's see what we got going here <laughs> and that's one thing that we can do with it